गुड मॉर्निंग सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द सिक्वेंस हिस्टोरियोग्राफी सिक्वेंस हिस्टोरियोग्राफी इज वेरी इमर्जिंग ब्रांच ऑफ आर साइंसेस विच इन्फॉर्म्स अस अबाउट द पास्ट सी लेवल फ्लैक्चुएशन एंड हेल्प अस टू इंटरप्रेट द पास्ट सेडिमेंट्री सिक्वेंसेस so it consists of two terms one is sequence and another is stratigraphy sequences are the conformable stratigraphic successions which are genetically related to each other and are bounded by unconformities or their correlative conformities sequences are of various types and the various types of sequences are known as system tracts so the system tracts are those sequences which were deposited when the sea level was low which were deposited when the sea level was falling which were deposited when the sea level was rising or which were deposited when the sea level was high so as per the different stages of the sea level either the sea level was low or going down or it was rising or it was very high there are four types of system tracks falling stage system track low stand system track transgressive system track and high stand system track and every system track that consists of further smaller units known as para sequences and there are different types of stacking patterns in every system tracks generally there are three type of stacking patterns one is known as degradation another is retrogradation and the third one is progradation in the case of progradation the shoreline shift towards ocean and it is characterized by the shallow water face is at the top retrogradation is that stacking pattern in which the shoreline shift towards land and it is characterized by deep water face is at the top degradation is characterized by constant shoreline but in this case of stacking pattern vertical thickening is taking place means thickness of the bed is increasing then there are different types of stratum termination the strata or the group of beds if this is the base of the ocean this is the coastal region then continental shelf and continental slope and this is the deep sea plain these are the clinoforms clinoforms means inclined beds then this is known as onlap onlap means the younger beds they are completely covering the older beds and the low angle dipping beds they terminates against the inclined beds then this is known as downlap in the case of downlap the inclined beds they terminates against the low angle bed or the horizontal beds then the top lap and the off lap in the case of top lap the inclined beds they are terminating against the low angle or the horizontal beds and here there is non deposition it takes place because of the non deposition in the case of off lap the younger units 
they are deposited in such a way that the older units are exposed generally they are deposited or they form during fall in sea level so all these four types of termination of the strata they are frequently used in the second stratigraphy then the complete cycle of sea level can be seen like this this is the complete cycle of sea level from this point a to this point b sea level is falling this is known as force repetition and then from point this point b to point c this is the situation of normal repetition then point c to point d this is the situation of transgression then point d to point e this is the situation of normal regression and again from point e the force regression will start so point e is the onset of force regression point b is the end of force regression point b is the start of normal regression point c is the end of normal regression point c is the start of transgression point d is the end of transgression point d is the start of next stage of normal regression and point e is the end of normal regression and point e is again the start of forced regression so if you just look at the shore line trajectory and the stacking pattern this is the stacking pattern a gradation means above sea level this is incision means erosion below sea level this is progradation means shifting of shore line towards ocean and this is retrogradation means shifting of shore line towards land so this is in this situation this is the situation of high stand system track and this is the situation of low stand system track this is the situation of ffst falling stage system track and this is the situation of transgressive system track means in the high stand system track a gradation and progradation will take place in the low stand system track a gradation and progradation will take place in the falling stage system track progradation and incision or erosion will take place and in the case of transgressive system track a gradation and retrogradation will take place so all these different a stacking pattern and the system tracks their correlation with reference to this diagram is very important in the next lecture we will understand that what that forms what deposition what geomorphic features or what kind of forms will be formed in high stand system track and low stand system track in falling stage system track and in transgressive system track thank you